Well, today was deadline day for two homeless encampments in Philadelphia. Those staying there were supposed to pack up and move out. Instead, demonstrators braced their positions with barricades and filed a lawsuit. Alicia Reed is on the Ben Franklin Parkway with what's next. Alicia. Jess, occupiers managed to maintain their ground here on the parkway, but what happens next is still up in the air. An iconic sound. The people want housing. That normally brings joy and excitement. Can't take away the tension on the Ben Franklin Parkway. We don't take by force. One example of a caucasoid who is uncomfortable. Perhaps they need their grass, but the people need housing. Some neighbors are growing increasingly fed up with what they call an eyesore in their backyard. The clock has been ticking, and after weeks of negotiations with no end in sight, Mayor Jim Kenney decided it was time for the encampments, both here and on Ridge Avenue, to go. This is public land. Uh, and people, all people have a right to it, and you can't live on public land indefinitely without plumbing and, and, um, and all the amenities that you need in order to live sanitary. Organizers have been preparing with barricades to resist any effort to remove them from the parkway. The lawsuit filed against the city is meant to prevent any action to disperse or relocate either this or the encampment on Ridge until occupants are provided shelter that is safe, clean and separate. They need our help. We're, we're, how would y'all feel if that was one of y'all brothers or sisters or your child? or your grandmom or your uncle, how would y'all feel if that was one of your family members out here and sleeping on a bench, sleeping under bridges? PHA has already placed 88 people in shelters, residential treatment and other housing options. In the meantime, some that are ready for occupiers to go say the issue also lies with sanitation. And where's the responsibility of keeping the place that you've, you're occupying clean? The federal judge declined to sign that restraining order today. An in-person hearing is set for Friday at 1 p.m. Reporting live from the Ben Franklin Parkway, Alicia Reed, CBS3 Eyewitness News. All right, Alicia, thank you.